Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here with another Division 2 video, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to craft your very own exotic weapon. Doing this will obviously grant you the weapon, which is super cool and can be pretty useful, and it'll also unlock you an achievement or trophy called Taste of the Exotic, which is for crafting an exotic weapon or item. Now, step zero, before we get started, I want to tell you to keep an eye out for a gold high tier D50 pistol drop. If you have one of these in your inventory or find yourself with one in your inventory, do not disassemble it. We will need it for the last step of this video. Now the gun we'll be making is called Kendra's Liberty, which is a Desert Eagle or a Deagle as many will call it. And assembling it actually isn't all that hard, but can take a little bit of time. Now the first step will be to beat the overall campaign of the game, and the last mission you'll be doing is the Capitol Building Stronghold, and halfway through this mission, you will defeat a boss and unlock the pistol trigger and mechanism as a drop from that boss. Make sure you pick this up, it will show as an exotic drop, and if you do ever need to look at what you have or don't have, feel free to pause the game, go to your gear, tab over to the right hand side screen where it says resources, and then scroll to the bottom to see which ones you have or don't have. The item dropped by each boss shown in this video is unique to that boss, so you can repeat this procedure to unlock this specific piece of the exotic weapon. The second piece to this exotic weapon can be found on the main mission, Viewpoint Museum, and it must be completed on the hard difficulty. You will get the pistol, sight, and rail unlocked by the drop from the final boss of this mission. And make sure you don't mistake the color of the exotic drop for something like specialist ammo, which is what I did on my first time through. The third out of four of the parts you'll need for the exotic can be found on the level American History Museum, also must be done on the hard difficulty or higher. And the pistol part you'll get is the receiver and paint job, which will drop automatically from the final boss. I already had it from this boss from a previous run, which is why you don't see it drop, but I do have it in my inventory, which you can again check through the resources tab to double check that you do have it, but it should be dropped by this boss on the hard difficulty. Last but not least, the fourth and final piece, which is the pistol grip and tags can be found on the Space Administration HQ main mission. Again, must be done on the hard difficulty and make sure you do this one last and that you have the three previous parts from earlier in this video or else you won't unlock it in the right order and you might have a problem with getting the blueprint to spawn and you might have to end up redoing it. Nonetheless, at the end of the level, make sure you kill the named enemy in a area of the map that you can actually go up to his body to loot him. Once you do loot them, you should get the pistol grip and tags as well as the blueprint if you have all of the previous things. Last but not least, the final step is to actually now craft the weapon, so head to your base of operations and go to your crafting bench. If you don't see the blueprint here or you are unable to craft it, it is because you will need to upgrade your bench to a level that supports high-end gear. You may notice a small little option in the bottom corner allowing you to upgrade your bench, and it will cost you a significant amount of crafting materials to go from the lowest level to the highest level, so make sure you have those and upgrade your bench fully. Then you'll want to select the blueprint and you will want to create the weapon. Now, like I said earlier, it will require you to have a gold tier high end D50 in your inventory in order to convert that weapon to this exotic weapon. And you will also need a bunch of other crafting materials, which hopefully you do have. Now, I spent over six hours looking for a gold tier D50 because I was stupid enough to deconstruct my one and only one that I had from earlier on in the game. But if you are looking to grind one, the best way to probably do that is to quickly go through as many control points as you can on your map and then stock those control points and revisit them once per day in order to be able to reloot them. Additionally, just basically clear things off of your map and complete main missions to try to grind for a drop. 
Now, sidearms aren't particularly useful in the Division 2, however, this one has the potential to be a beast as long as you craft it at a high gear score because of its talents. For example, you can gain 100% damage to hostile electronics while aiming for their weak point, and then after destroying an enemy's weak point, your next bullet will do 500% damage, and then if that shot kills the enemy, you will get 100% weapon damage for the rest of your magazine. On top of that, while this gun is holstered, destroying weak points refills 20% of your current weapon's magazine. So it actually does have benefits to just keeping it on your backpack or on your back pocket, even if you're not going to use it. Nonetheless, I played around with this gun a little bit. I got a chance to shoot some enemies and it does a fair bit of damage and can be quite useful in certain situations. Although I would definitely not recommend using this weapon over a regular uh, primary weapon like a LMG or an assault rifle. It's cool to have in your collection. Again, it does have its uses and it can be used as a kind of specialty weapon against certain types of enemies. But nonetheless, you'll also grab the achievement or trophy. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Please share with a friend. Drop a like if it was helpful, useful, fun to watch, or anything in between. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out to Double O, and hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace!